It's JB Moro going get your bag. What's good, you guys? This is Insta Vanity. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn to your girl, cause it's a vibe. We are back with another one. And before we get into this, please subscribe, 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 so you can stay tuned to all of our bang, all of my bangers. And I, I'm going to stay tuned to all my supporters. So please drop the comments in the comments down below. But, but let's get straight into this. We're going to be reacting to my first girlfriend. I'm excited to see this because, like, what is it about? Like, it's going to explain, like, is this, like, a story about his first girlfriend? It's going to explain, like, first girlfriends or, like... I'm excited, so let's get straight into this. Hold on, move my blind a little bit. Get this sunlight in here. We ain't tweaking. Dates have the potential to be magical, fantastical, romantical, a night you will never forget. But they also got the potential Aww. to be straight booty. I mean, first dates are just a gamble, bro, especially if it's from a dating app. Like, you can Oh, yeah, your... like, I ain't gonna cap. I've never been on a dating app before. So it's just like I've never ever been on a dating app before, and I just, cause I just feel like I don't know. I don't want to say nothing, cause I feel like people who who's hard to find love sometimes that is necessary. But I feel like for me, like I feel like that's just thirsty as fuck. Like that means I'm like thirsty and desperate for love. Like if I'm, that's how I feel. Like to each his own, though. Like I'm not trying to come for nobody, cause some people, you know, cause I don't know, cause I've been in long term relationships. That's probably why I'm not. Fiending for relationships because I've been, I've had the longevity. <laughs> Trust me, I made it close to decades on some relationships. But, um, it's like, I just, I just got, to, per, me personally, I couldn't do dating apps. I'm sorry. But to each his own, it's, and it's nothing wrong with that, and it's nothing wrong with people that do dating apps. But I just feel like for me, I feel like I'm thirsty as hell because it's just like, I don't know. I don't know, but that don't mean you thirsty. It's just, that's how I would feel about myself. First date with a 5'4 blonde Tinder girl and end up finding out she's 5'9. Oh, shit. And she's brunette. And she's a dude. I mean, oh, first shit. date from dating apps is kind of like buying one of the... That's, that's that's more likely to happen nine times out of ten. <laughs> what you said. popsicles from an ice cream truck. Like, you know it's not going to... Same as the advertisement, but the question is, how fucked up can it really be? And let me just say, extremely fucked up. I'm talking <laughs> massive buck teeth, eyes crossed with a bite taken out of it, and I'm not talking about the Damn, popsicle. Damn, SpongeBob possibly that came for you, he ate. The exact reasons my very first date was not from Tinder. Also because I was in grade seven, and uh... I wouldn't recommend it. That would be illegal. And when I was in grade 7, I was 12, as as most grade 7s were. And for whatever reason, me and my homies loved going to the mall after school. Which was weird, because we, we had no money. So after another successful day Window of walking shopping. around and being too broke to buy anything, we walked back to the bus terminal by the mall. And as we walked up to our bus stop, we see these two girls waiting there. And the closer we got, the more familiar these girls started looking until we realized one of them was in our class. And so we oh. walked up to them like, yo, are, are you Kate? Oh. Oh shit, Billy Bob and Chains. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, nothing much. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm good. Uh, th this is Jessica. She's new to our school. Uh, hi. <laughs> What's up? Hello, Jessica. What what brings you guys to the mall? Oh, nothing much. Just uh, just walking around and not buying anything because we don't have any money. <laughs> Yo I said window shopping. We all been there, y'all. Even even at the age we are now. But when we was kids, we was most definitely window shopping. I mean, well, probably not all of them because some people probably parents probably had money, but us too and so we all get on the bus and we're just talking and shit for a good 20 minutes until he the third wheel right the dude <laughs> the dude all the way in like the corner he a third wheel bro everybody talking that's why i can't do that like like you called another friend like <laughs> i'm the third wheel everybody got their little date but me my stuff comes up so i'll pull the thingy but before i get off the bus i ask jessica yo jessica uh do, do you snapchat by any chance y yeah i do L let me add you what's your snap name and i remember i had some shitty ass username like oh shit it's um 
MLG Pro No Scope or Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Yo, kid, get the fuck off the bus. Uh, sorry, one second, please. Um, where was I? MLG Pro No Scope or Illuminati confirmed. And when I got home, I went on Snapchat, accepted a request, and we started talking. And we snapped oh, all night to the point I was. Oh, that's so cute. Smiling, kicking my feet in the air and shit. Yo, I'm coming in. No, 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 wait, wait, don't, don't. I'm, uh, I'm beating my meat. Wait, shit. Yo, what boy has you smiling like that? Oh, my boy. goodness. It's a girl. Man, shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, shit, you're serious. Oh, wait, so the whole time you're watching Powerpuff Girls? It just had a good <laughs> plot. Okay, bro. Okay, so this is what you gotta know. And my brother started running me through the do's and don'ts of being in a talking okay. stage. I right, listen. Don't text her too much, but don't text her too little. Don't talk to too many other girls. Yep. Nope, that, that won't be a problem right there. Yep, I, I know, buddy. <laughs> and uh, you also gotta talk to her at school. So the next day at lunch, Bob, Billy, and I walk over to Jessica and her two friends, and we start talking again, and we make plans to go to the mall together. And Boom, all of a sudden started forming a little friend group. It was me, Bob, and Billy with Jessica Kate. That's how you do it. Y'all, y'all, y'all start up. Okay, I'm about to say, you better have somebody for, for whoever the other person is. And we started hanging out damn There you go. Day. He ain't left out no more. He ain't no third wheel. Yeah, y'all some good bros. Y'all make sure bro wasn't going to be no third wheel. Y'all make sure bros going to get his little mm -mm -mm too. That's what's up. Mall, buying nothing, going to Nikki's house, doing nothing. But we had fun, and so inevitably, Bob and Kate start having a thing, Billy and Nikki start having a thing, and that just left me and Jessica. And so one late night, we're on Snapchat Sorry. with my feet kicking in the air faster than ever, and Jessica hits me with a, so I've been thinking, well, uh, I, I like you. Uh. I like you back. So, and I typed up, do you want to be my girlfriend? I fucking threw my phone across the room, nervous as hell. That's how you be. You be like... <laughs> and then you could I don't know that's how I used to be like like you know you sending them risky messages and you just throw your phone or something or you run like you be like doop and then dip off the notification and when I go to check what she said she was like yes I do and call me Josh Giddy the way I just bagged this 12 year old but the next day at school when oh, me Billy and Bob walk up to our girlfriends I started getting all nervous and shit that there was something about the title of being a boyfriend that Aww. just had me shitting bricks bro it was like hey chains how are you oh you know uh, I'm good <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, how, how are you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> oh, no. Don't start being awkward. You're going to ruin it. No. <clears throat> She's going to be like, bitch, like, you was just cool. What you got going on? Well, now that all three of the boys had acquired girlfriends, Billy was like, hey, wh why don't we all see a movie this weekend? Like, like it'll be a triple date. Yeah, that's God, a great idea. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's a date. A uh, triple date. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. And by the time the weekend rolled around, I was still terrified of the fact that I was going on a date. And to be honest, Aww. I was also scared of the movie, bro. We came to watch It, which as a 12-year-old sounded like straight nightmare fuel, bro. But nonetheless, me, Bob, and Billy hop on the bus and arrive at the movie theater fashionably late. And so when we walk through the doors, there was our three little girlfriends Aww. excited for our first date. So we all walk up, hug, and then Chill, go... Chill, get y'all late because y'all took the bus. Shit, at least y'all, at least that's, that's a good reason to be late. Like, I ain't okay. I know what the I know if you run on bus hours, baby. I know you're gonna probably be a little good little hmm hmm hmm. You feel me? So I wouldn't mind it. I dropped my entire life savings on her ticket and Damn. then go into debt for mine, but nonetheless, we head to the theater. Wait, sh should we get popcorn? Oh yeah, of course. Hey man, uh how much is a large popcorn? A uh, large popcorn th th that'll be ten dollars. <gasps> what, what happened? Are, are you okay? Yeah, I just realized they ran out of popcorn. Are, are you fucking stupid? Yeah, no, don't worry. Thank you, man. <laughs> it's a no problem. Huh? Have a good day. And we got to our seats and sat down and saying... the movie began. And as the movie progressed, I realized it wasn't even too scary, but about 20 minutes deep, I get a tap on my shoulder from Bob. And he gestures to me the fact that him and Kate are holding hands. And I look over to Billy and Nikki and they're all cuddled up and shit, which meant I had to make a move, bro, which inconveniently made make my hands start sweating bullets. So now I was in a position where I couldn't just grab her hand 
hand well my shit was sweaty as hell because then she'd think i'm weird but then i also couldn't just sit there and do nothing the whole time so she'd also mean. think i'm weird so i just started doing the only thing i could think of which was blowing on my hand like some hot soup and believe it or not made me look fucking weird but at least my hand was dry so i go and hold her hand but when i do i make a grave mistake a, a tactical error bro when yes, i held do. her hand my hand was on top and hers was underneath against the armrest and my dumb ass was scared i was gonna crush her arm or some shit and i don't know where i got the idea that i even could crush her arm from bro because those 12 year old stick man arms couldn't crush a fuck you really thought you was gonna crush her arm hold on oh shit when you walk in i feel like it's weird for the girl to be under because i feel like that's always i mean for the girl to be over like you know you going like that like i feel like it's weird i feel like you got to be like under yeah i feel better under like i want the boy over my hand like if we walk in oh, this how i want the r's to be boom this her arm i mean i'm gonna say his or her like that this my arm this yours you go over mine you don't go under that feels so weird to me like it make my arm feel weird like i was just saying something about that the other day <laughs> pretzel if they tried but for whatever reason i decided my i'm like am i wrong though like how is it like do y'all over or under what the fuck i I'll just feel more comfortable being under like yeah yeah cover my arm slightly above hers so my one pound arm couldn't come down and fucking demolish her forearm and you know this was cool for about 60 seconds until i started feeling the burn which started hurting so bad that i forgot i was even watching a movie i was just a hundred percent focused on thugging this shit out and about an hour into the movie i was just fucking shaking relentlessly I mean, oh my day, god like not having this girl not the face crazy. lord knows it was too late for that shit but now it was about proving to myself I been like, that I could you okay you sure movie this way and sure enough i did but at what cost? Wow, you, you were so scared you were shaking, huh? No, I, I wasn't scared at all, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I, are, are you sweating? No. So, you know, looking back, it, it wasn't my best performance, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, after that triple date, Billy's girlfriend, Nikki, ended up breaking up with him and gave up on dating dudes as a whole. So, I mean, psh. It could all oh, heartbroken. Be worse. Damn, you like damn, money. she left me for a girl. Ain't like girl, no, I'm her. Hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful, but today. <gasps> what? Bob and Kate ended up dating for a year. Ain't like girl, no, I'm her. Hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful, but today. Until she found out by his other team. It's other ten girlfriends. Are you serious? Hey, take this. You know what? You should have known with them, with them fucking glasses on. Lose it and use it. That is. Oh, and the girls up in there. You were and be she became the ele. Oh, Chains and Jessica went on a movie date without relentlessly shaking. Oh, Aww. And, and they lived happily ever after. That's okay, cause we hold or wish that you could show some love. Then instead of hating so much when you see some other people coming now. I wish I could teach the woman's screen. Why your music can have them chip enough to joy I bring. I wish that we can hold hand. This and this. I know that's right. You got your man. And that's what's up, Billy. You you didn't you didn't took your pain, put it into your um career, made your little business. Now you a trillionaire. I know that's right, Billy. What's the families that lock fuck and look? Billy really became the world's first trainer. Nikki has been trying to get him back ever since. I know Nikki has, cause if I was Nikki, I would have some Sorry. Loves and <laughs> sorry, nah. This was fucking interesting. Like, I'm sorry for the concept, but this was very interesting. Like, okay, I like seeing people's point of views and like what they went through. What y'all think about this? I feel like this was so funny, crazy. It was entertaining. What y'all think? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the T Girl, cause it's a vibe. We are out this thing.